it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, this is another of my Advent countdown projects and it's this cute little card uh, which uses the Smitten Mittens stamp set and matching framelits um, which are so cute. They are the uh, Many Mittens framelits um, and you've got large and small and this lovely detailed one here um, and some embossing bits and really cute and they match so we've got star here which matches snowflake um, some stitching which matches and here so this is a little Christmas tree and it's all just really really cute there's even a little die to make a loop for your uh, mittens um, but I'm actually using the mini tinsel trim for that so let's get started it's a relatively straightforward card um, I'm using oops, pool party as my base and this is a standard a6 card base scored down the middle so it's a5 well a4 cut in half scored down the middle um, to make an a6 standard card and we're going in the uh, landscape orientation then I've got a piece of uh, whisper white which I'm actually going to use for part of um, this um, as well and a piece of the um, Christmas around the world designer series paper which is part of the buy three get a fourth free selection of designer series papers that's on offer until the end of October so um, and this is really pretty it's just as a sort of snowy background although this side you've got all these um, Christmas and um, New Year's greetings in all sorts of languages which is equally fun so that's just going to go there so um, let's start with I want to stamp the sending warm and fuzzy Christmas wishes your way stamp uh, a D block would be useful there we go so on a D block she might go uh, no I think I was right the first time so D block uh, and real red ink and get rid of our pattern paper um all the dimensions are on my blog as ever um so do hop over there the links below and that takes you straight to the blog post for this video and I'm just going to stamp that bang slap in the middle of our mat and there we go uh, remember that I have a padded work base um, underneath this um, surface is uh, foam so if you're not getting a good impression with your more solid images then do use the piercing mat um, and certainly when I'm doing classes I get my ladies to use the piercing mat so that's actually all the stamping we need to get done so I don't need that anymore I'm now going to cut this with one of the dies which is that one so just pop this through my big shot and I should be using my magnetic base plate and I not let's grab that to do it use that later. That's better. Right, so that's the stamping and the punching done. Out of that piece, just swap over my base plate so I've got those ready for later. Um, right, so that's that. And then this I can now just mat my paper onto my what's left of my mat. Um, and I'll just use snail because I'm only attaching paper so let's use some snail those of you who've watched me for any length of time will realize that I don't use snail that often um, certainly not on camera uh, I do use snail quite a lot um, just for some reason I never seem to use it on camera Oop. No, that's a bit and this might be why no oh. ah, that's all right um, that might be why I normally use glue on cameras because you get a bit of wiggle room um, and this which I will now learn from my mistake um, and use glue and just pop this 
onto our card base. Now, because I'm using Pool Party, um, if you want to write a sentiment, or well, when you come to write your card, you may not need to... Um, yes, that really is quite squiffy, but hey-ho. Um, you may not need to put an insert in. That's going to be personal choice as to whether or not you put an insert on the inside of your card. I don't think you need it because it's a pale colour, but as I say, personal choice. So that's that one. And then for the for this one, uh, uh, we're going to use the um, patterned piece. And I've got, I put somewhere very carefully, oh yes, um, this is a piece of real red that I've stuck some of the um, Sizzix adhesive sheet on the back of. Um, so that I can then run through. I don't mind if it doesn't hit the adhesive fully, but it does mean that most of uh, this is going to be become a sticker. So I shall pop that on here. And whilst I'm at it, so that I don't have to run things through the big shop more times than I need to. In fact, actually, let's get rid of let's get rid of the waste. So pop that there. Then a piece of just whisper white, and yep, the same solid glove and then I shall run that all through my big shot I will I'm not using the precision base plate it may be that you need to for this it's going to depend very much on your own big shot because they are all slightly different um, and what I will do is run mine through a few times just to make sure uh, the outline's really easy so that's nicely cut but yeah, so you can see here that the it's cut the outline, but the inside is not fully cut. So I'm going to run this back through to the side of my big shot. That's fine um, because my big shot has some pressure points on the edges. So I shall do that. But it really is a question of getting to know your big shot. Yeah, that's a lot better. So that I just ran. I had that on there on the side and that just cut that. I will do it one more time. I might do it over there. But it does say if you use your precision base plate, it will probably go through first time. Having said that, let me introduce you to the cutting mat I use for my precision base plate. Um, because you're using plastic against soft metal, uh, it does mean that the plastic takes rather a beating. It still works, um, but if you can get away with not using your precision base plate, it will save your cutting mat. Um, and certainly do use one that is, yeah that's better, um, do keep one that is just for using with your precision base plate. Um, so yeah, and I'm just going to use my Die brush, and this is a wood wood mount box, which you can get on from my online store. Um, it's not listed in the catalogue, but they are still available. Um, I have to say that when the catalogue came out, when we saw the catalogue in um, Amsterdam, uh, those of us that were at the on stage event, um, and we saw that there were no cases in the catalogue. I have to use my piercing tool. Um, we pretty much ordered everything that we could possibly get our mucky paws on. Um, so um, I think they were actually on back order for a while because we all went, no, you can't do that to us. Um, so yeah, uh, they just had a printing mistake. I have put stickers in the catalogues that I've sent out. Um, just letting people know that they are available. Uh, but if you've got your catalogue from somewhere else, um, panic not, they are there. Uh, and if you need me to let you know what the number is, then just let me know. Um, these look as if they're not out, but actually it's the sticker sheet that's causing the issue. Because um, the sticker sheet is hanging on to the bits. So, she says, famous last words, let's give it a go. 
Uh, pop that back down there. Pop that there before I lose it. Don't need those anymore. So, don't need that anymore. So this is my background piece. I'm just going to peel, possibly from this end actually, peel this off, get rid of that, and then just get rid of any last bits that seem to be attaching themselves. Like that's that's only there because it's adhered to the cardstock. Well, it's it's not released. The um, adhesive's not released from the cardstock, but that's easily dealt with. And then that needs to come off. There we go. Oh, and there's one more bit. Let me just get rid of those sticky bits. And fortunately, I have got a non-stuck bit. Um, so I've got a handle, as it were. Just line that up. And pop it down. Just get that piece, which shouldn't be there, off. And in the bin. And there we go. Now, obviously, if you don't have the sticker sheet, um, you can just put some glue on the back. Uh, but it does make it a whole lot easier. And then, even though that little bit there isn't glued, and I can just pop a pop a little bit of glue in there. Or you could use a glue dot just to make sure that that's properly stuck down. So now these little tassely bits. Uh, I'm using the mini tinsel trim. Um, it comes in red and silver. This is nearly finished in red um, and all I need is two little loops so let's cut those the same length so that's what two two and a half inches and then I'm going to put them at the opposite to the thumb and just pop a bit of fast fuse down at each corner and then just literally just form a loop. Now this trim does actually have a sort of, it's slightly flatter one way than the other. Um, so I'm just trying to keep that kind of flat. So I'm going with the flatness rather than fighting the flatness. And then some dimensionals. And I know it's the same glove on both hands. Um, or it's the same. They're both left-handed gloves, um, but it's fine. It's only for a card. We haven't got to force our hands in. And one could be the back of the other. Um, and because they're mittens, that works. So... If I pop this one down first, and because this is stuck with fast fuse and it's not having any pressure on it, I'm not worried about then sticking something over the top. If you're worried about that, you could put just a piece of ordinary uh, tape or you could use tear and tape to actually stick it down. So let's pop that at a jaunty angle that way. So I mentioned that the designer series paper buy three get one get a fourth free on selected papers was still running on my online store. So do pop over and have a look at that. Um, there are a couple of the Christmas papers that are part of that offer. Um, so this one, the um, Christmas Round the World uh, paper, is it called Christmas Round the World? I'm sure it is. Um, and the Be Merry, which is the one in the annual catalogue, that's also on the offer, along with loads of others, including the gorgeous Painted Autumn. Um, I cannot tell you how many packs of that I have purchased on the Buy Three, Get a Fourth Free. So there we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I think it's a fun, quirky little card. Um, not difficult. Um, so I hope you'll give that a go. Um, uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed and would like to, 
please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner there um, if you need any of the products please do hop over to my online store it would really help me if you're in the UK if you did shop with me um, it helps me bring these videos to you um, if you do shop with me I'm still running the Merry Patterns uh, stamp set giveaway I've certainly got three stamp sets to give away and all you need to do to uh, be in a, with a chance to get one of those is place an order of at least £25, um, excluding postage and packing. Pop that into my, on a, an order in my online store. And for every £25 you spend, um, and that dates back from September to the end of October, uh, for every £25 you spend, you'll get an entry. So £50, you get two entries, etc., etc., um, the other way you can get it is if you place an order of £250 or more, you'll get it free with that order as well as your usual hostess rewards. So if you've got a very big order, then that's a way of getting hold of that extra stamp set. But if you've got a very big order, if you're in the UK, just join my team. Just become a member. Um, no pressure. Just get £130 of products for £99, including free shipping, and then get discounts for up to six months and if you never place another order then all that happens is um, at the end of that period you drop and become an ordinary customer again so it's a win-win so i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you again very soon thanks a lot